What up guys, so today I want to talk about a new app that I'm going to show you how to make. So I just made an app called Munchie where you can basically find where you're going to eat faster. So this is how the app works. So first it'll just bring you kind of the home screen um, and it'll bring up this random restaurant around you. All right, now I have the GPS location on San Francisco. So this is some restaurant in San Francisco. So it just shows you picture of the food, a random uh, picture from Yelp, and then it shows the name of the restaurant, and then the rating, and then uh, the category of food. Now I can swipe up, and it'll give me a new picture of that restaurant. And we can just swipe through them, look at the pictures for that restaurant, until we find a picture we like. When we find a picture we like, we can just click on it, and then this will take us to that restaurant on Yelp. And once we're on Yelp, we can then actually go to that restaurant, you know, get the directions, whatnot. So let's go back to the app. And this is it just allows you to get to restaurants faster. So you can swipe right, and it'll take you to a new restaurant, swipe right, and go back to that one, you know, another one, until you just find basically a picture of food you want to eat. You know, you just swipe up, further more pictures of mosaic. I don't like that restaurant, let's go to a different one. You know, I'm just going to swipe through different restaurants till I find a restaurant I like. Okay, maybe I'm interested in this Harbor Cafe. I'll just look through a couple items that they have. I'm like, okay, this could be an interesting place I want to eat. Click on it, and bam. So it'll just help you figure out where you want to eat faster. So I'm going to show you guys how I created this app and this uh, series. So before I get into kind of how, you know, the actual technical part and actually making it, I just want to go over kind of the architecture of how this app works. So I'm just going to restart the app to show you what happens when you first um, build the app. So when the app first opens up, what happens is it goes and makes an API call to Yelp and gets all the restaurants in your location. So it has it takes a minute to load, it'll making its API call right now, and it goes and picks a restaurant from Yelp. And it gets about 40 restaurants with one API call. It gets 40 restaurants around you, and it's getting the uh, coordinates, the latitude and longitude based on your phone, and putting that in uh, the Yelp API call. So now it's using the location based on your phone, it gets you all these restaurants, and I'm getting the pictures and just showing you them here. So I have all these preloaded. I'm just going through here and I'm using a library called Picasso to actually load the pictures in um, from the internet. And that's all that's working. So it just like does an initial API call, it stores them all. And then as you're swiping through in the background, if let's say I do 40 swipes to the right and I'm out of um, you know, the initial API call, it'll make other API calls in the background. Um, while you're swiping through. So once you have it loaded, you should not be loading anymore. You should just be swiping through pictures. The picture takes a second to load, that's just because it's loading it off the internet. But you should not see a uh, progress bar loading anymore because in the background, while we're swiping right now, um, it's loading more uh, restaurants from Yelp. And you can see I can pretty much just infinitely swipe because especially if you're in an area with a lot of restaurants, you can just go on forever. So that's kind of how the app works, and it's using async task and some other things, which I'll show you how that's working in the next video.